Hey everybody, it's John from Seattle Coffee Gear. We're in the commercial kitchen today. We're doing a crew review of the La Marzocco Linea or Linnea PB2 Group. We're gonna start out with a little bit of history about the brand. Uh, this machine did come out a little while ago, but we hadn't done a review of it yet, so we thought better late than never. Uh, La Marzocco was started in 1927. Uh, that's when they started out in Florence, Italy. Um, they released the precursor to this, the Linea Classic, in 1990. And then in 2013, they redesigned that as the PB, named after Piero Bambi, who designed the original Linea Classic in 1990. Let's go ahead and jump in. So this is the two-group Linea PB. The two-group model has 4,600 watts of power to it. That means it's a 30-amp machine, that's 220 volts, uh, which is about standard for a two-group machine. It's not very much more, it's not very much less. Plenty of power. Um, it is a dual boiler machine, so it has one boiler for brewing and one boiler for steaming. The brew boiler is gonna be 4.3 liters, and the steam boiler is gonna be 7.3 liters. The brew boiler is fully saturated. So the whole boiler is one piece with these two caps that come up to the group heads. Uh, these are the groups. And there's water in that whole thing that's all at the same temperature, that's all being heated to stay at the same temperature. That also means there's a little line of water running through the center of all that water to come up to this group to brew. So it's always at a very consistent, very steady temperature, which means it's really easy to make very consistent coffee uh, and have a great experience for your customers so they know they can get repeatable coffee that's always gonna be tasty. On this machine, we have our two groups. We have two steam wands, we have our hot water, this is a volumetric machine, so you have two settings per group, and then you have this button here, which uh, La Marzocco does as kind of the squiggly or swirly line. Uh, that is your continuous run button. You do have these nice uh, red lit rings around them, so once you press them, that lets you know that it's activated, it's flashing. Uh, this one does not flash, but uh, they all press very nicely. They feel very sturdy. Some people, when they come from a Linea Classic to the PB, they're used to the rocker switches and the buttons on the Linea Classic, which are pretty easy to push. They engage re really easily. Uh, and some people find that you need a little bit more, uh, just a little bit more purpose behind when you press the buttons on this machine. Uh, but once you're used to that, really no big deal, pretty similar. This machine does not have insulated steam wands, so you do need to be careful when steaming. That's why they put these little rubber grips on it, so you don't burn yourself. One feature that's nice, that's different on this machine from the Linea Classic, is these steam wands are more like the GB5. So it's a much shorter amount of turns that you have to make. On the Linea Classic, you're sitting there turning for a while before you get to full steam pressure. So this is definitely a lot easier on your wrists over time. You're not sitting here having to turn that a lot and maybe causing some damage to your wrist over the long run, like a repetitive stress injury. Um, it does not have any sort of mixing valve for the hot water, so that is coming right off the steam boiler, so it is boiling as soon as it hits the air. Uh, not really versatile for using in drinks or anything like that, uh, but great for rinsing stuff out, get stuff pretty clean because it is so hot. Um, this is your little display screen up there, and we'll talk some more about programming that in just a second. This machine does have some pretty cool programming features. To get to that menu, you hold down this button here, your continuous run button until, oh, I didn't hold it for long enough. There we go. So now you are in your programming menu. This is a little bit confusing because you might think that uh, this is, um, this does something different than it actually does, but these buttons scroll so if I scroll through, I can see some of the different settings here and then come back to there. So group dose settings is where your programming for your volumetric buttons are. So if we come into here, this is gonna take me into this next menu and that's where I'm scrolling through here. So if I wanna program it, 
I go into here. If it says this, press enter to exit. That means that I'm now in my programming mode. So once I press, say, this button, it's going to start counting. And then once I stop, it saves that automatically. And then I would press that button again, the continuous run button, which functions as your enter button as well to get that out. So then I can continue through here. Um, and then if I go into these, I can edit, go back to this. So I can edit the amount of pulses in here and change uh, how long that shot is pulling for. What that means is that there's a little wheel inside there that rotates as water passes through it. This is how volumetrics work on most espresso machines. There's something called a flow meter inside the machine that has a little wheel that spins around as water goes from the boiler through the little wheel to where the coffee is being made at. And the machine is counting how many times that little wheel is spinning and those pulses that you saw there, that's, how, that's a rotation of that wheel and that's how it's counting the volume of water that's going through there, which is why that's more accurate than something that's done by time. That's pretty consistent and common on most espresso machines, but not all espresso machines give you the option to go in and edit your dose by changing those amount of pulses instead of having to re-pull a shot. So that's a pretty handy feature. Uh, as we're going through this, uh, this is another feature that's handy. So you can come into here and you can take this button and copy it and paste it to any one of your other buttons here and then just exit out. And now if I pull a shot here, I like how that shot tastes, I can take that recipe and copy it to this group. Some machines will have a root group that once you program, will program all the groups on the right or something like that. Um, this one you actually have to copy to the other one, but because you're using the same uh, flow meters inside the machine or one flow meter here, one flow meter here, and they're measuring water in the same way. It is very accurate uh, from group to group. If you're using the same amount of coffee, the same grind setting, all that sort of stuff. There's all those variables, but counting how much water is going through the machine, the machine's going to do that very reliably each time. It's all your other variables that are probably going to throw off your shots more than those variables inside the espresso machine. Um, Let's get out of that. So then as we come through here, uh, this machine also can be ordered with scales built into it. That's called the auto brew ratio. Um, that connects the scales to the brain inside the machine. And you can have a little bit of more, a little bit more programmability um, with scales and the machine. You can program based on weight. We did not have that model available. So we're using that one, but we can still talk about it. Uh, this is going to be where you can program how long this button runs for. So if I want this to run for that long, it's going to save that, three seconds. And then it also has a long T-dose, which, enter. I'm going to let that run for a little bit longer so I can show you that in a moment. Stop that. So five seconds for that one. And then we'll exit out of there. This is where you can change the temperature of your boiler. This is the current temperature, and this is my uh, program temperature, my desired temperature. Exit out of there. Um, you can turn on pre-wet. So pre-wet is, I don't, you may have noticed it earlier in the video, but it'll pulse a little bit of water and then stop. So it kind of expands the puck, helps with a little bit of pre-infusion, helps eliminate a little bit of challenge, cha channeling or minimize channeling, and then it'll continue brewing. So we have one second of brew, two seconds of waiting, and then it does the rest of the brewing. Uh, and you can set those individually for each group. Keep going through there, cup warmer, and exit. That's a pretty base level understanding of the programming on this machine. Now that we've talked about that somewhat, there is one more aspect here. Um, you can control some other programming functions by uh, using these buttons here. If I'm to press these two, it will turn the machine off. And I'll turn it back on. These two buttons 
we'll go into an automatic back flushing. Unlike some of the GB5s and older La Marzocos, you can do both groups at the same time, which is nice. And you can also exit out of that at any time. If you hold down these buttons, it'll take it into an eco mode, so it'll keep the machine hot, but if you're closed um, at night, it will make it operate with just a little bit less power, so it won't keep it at full operating power. And to exit out of that, simple as that. That is most of the programming on this machine, so now that we've talked about that, why don't we jump in and make some drinks? All right, let's make some coffee on this machine so you guys can see it in action. Uh, I'm gonna make probably one of my favorite drinks, my go-to, which is just a single espresso and a single cappuccino. Sometimes people call it a one-in-one. -one. Um, today, we're gonna be using Under Pressure from Slate Coffee Roasters, they're from Seattle. Uh, it's a pretty good medium roast. Uh, it's definitely on the lighter side of medium, but pretty tasty. Going for about 18 and a half grams in. Let me see. Get a little bit more. Uh, the grinder we're using right now is the Zenith 65E from Eureka. And Kelly made these handy dandy little holders here so we can see what coffee we're drinking. I'm gonna put this back up here as I break it. Don't tell Kelly. All right, and I had the first button here programmed for uh, how much coffee I wanted out. And I had that set at about 35 grams around there. One thing about these machines that don't have insulated steam wands is you have to be really careful to purge the steam wand right away. Otherwise you will get some milk caked on the steam wand and that's when your milk gets kind of nasty. All right. There is my little cappuccino and my espresso. Before I enjoy, I'm gonna make sure to knock my puck. And let's go for the espresso first. Tasty. Yeah, that's right where I want it to be at. And also delicious. All right guys, we've been talking about the La Marzocco Linea PB. One thing I did forget to mention earlier was that this machine does have stainless steel boilers. So it's important to test your water, make sure you have the wa right water treatment for your machine before you get it up and running and installed. La Marzocco does include a water test kit with their machine, so make sure to use that and ensure that you're putting the right water for the machine and your coffee through the machine. It's gonna extend the life of your machine and also make your coffee taste as good as it possibly can. This machine is a classic. It's been on the market for a little while now. You'll see it in a lot of coffee shops. It lasts for a long time if you take care of it and use the right water filters on it. It'll make great coffee over and over again. It is missing some of the features that they've put on newer machines like insulation on these steam wants to keep those cool and the mixing valve for your hot water here. Other than those two things, I love this machine. The Linea Classic was what I learned how to make coffee on uh, back when I was just a baby barista. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something about this machine. If there's anything that you think we didn't cover, please leave us a comment down below and we'll do our best to get back to you there. If you have ever thought about opening up a coffee shop, feel free to give us a call. If you just need equipment or want to chat, we'd love to talk with you about that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.